people we love you I hope that you personally and whoever you're showing this to are having great days I'm doing great I'll tell you part of why it has to do with certainty uncertainty now and the future now people often think about the future as being uncertain right because not all of the elements have come together not all of the information that will be on hand for every day is there and, and of course it depends on what future we're talking about too you know do you mean tomorrow if you mean tomorrow maybe you should think about what you do know about your activities in a very positive light if you feel some kind of certainty that you are going to be clear-headed bright-eyed sense of humor and perspective the energy that you need to get through everything and to acknowledge people and have uh, good interactions and do a great job if that's what you're thinking about for tomorrow you're already putting those certainties together having that emotional certainty is going to be your best friend now is connected to the future now is connected to the future some say that the future is uncertain and in that process they themselves have to come up with a way to feel certain while dealing with an uncertain future but that's just one way of looking at reality my friends here's the thing to remember you take a sense of certainty and when you feel happy right you also probably feel quite certain as well yeah it's like uh, sometimes just a, a laugh can remove the resistance that you're feeling right but if you want to uh, latch on to that mindset that things are going to be okay that at least at least emotionally preserves you through everything that does happen all the things that you can't predict and whatever resistance has come your way okay but for you if you feel certain and you see the future as certain then you can feel connected to that that's the vibration that you're on now and that's the vibration to which you are conducting your life aka the future right okay you know whenever we're talking about the future what future could we be speaking of besides the one that we're imagining in our own mind that's the only place where there is a future now those moments exist where they do exist throughout time but the existence of the future when you're thinking about it is something that you are imagining now in fact by its very definition it has to be imaginary or it would just be now right whatever's happening now whatever you consider to be realistic in your perspective of things around you you know that would be now but the future is an imaginary construct now we take the feelings that we have and our imagination and we want them to work together you know feeling joy um, encouraging yourself to feel good affirming yourself putting a positive head together is the key to making your imagination your further ally and illuminating the path in front of you you can turn your imagination into headlights on a midnight highway you know and find your way so do keep a good perspective with a uh, with a sense of humor try to keep your heart light try with all of your being to just be happy first and before you think about the future make sure you're feeling happy because if you're unhappy woe unto you right but that's not what you want you want your certainty to be the reality of the future it's not just dogged tenacity we're talking about unifying a feeling of joy 
with thoughts of certainty, with an imagination for the future ahead. And to look forward to your future is one of the greatest gifts that you'll ever have and one that you don't want to lose. And if you do feel like you've lost it, look there in the silence and find it again. Just waiting, you know? Whatever future is what, the possibility of that, even if the details have changed from what you idealized, you know, 10 years ago, if you've been around that long, well, the things that you idealized then may have involved different details, different aspects. But it's the feeling that counts, right? It's the feeling that remains. It's the feeling that is your true measure of success in your well-being. And your well-being is truly your ultimate goal as a sentient person. Okay? So think about that. Think about how the future is something that you're imagining. The feeling that you have, being a good one, is more important than you figuring out that future. Remember, it's an imaginary construct. You don't want to create a negative feedback loop with your emotions. You know, there are situations where you have to be discerning and make a change. And that's to the good. If you are following the right feeling, then you will make the clear-minded choices. And that's your ally. That's your friend. This way of thinking. This is your personal friendship with you that you're talking about. And we're talking about the future, certainty, and the self. Future, certainty, and the self. I wish you all the best, and as for me, that's the only way that I will let myself think about it. I might stray from being so certain of the future, I might stray from being so happy, but inevitably, I know where it's at, and that's where I'm going to be, and that's where you'll find me next time too. Have a great day. I thank you from the tip top of my purple hair.